Hello everyone, and welcome back to another relaxing long play in the world of Clovervale. In our last long play, we built up this amazing enchanting cottage over here across the lake from our starter house. And speaking of enchanting, I have been doing a lot of it. I don't have all of the best enchants on my gear, but we do have some pretty good gear at this point. And I just enchanted this fresh new pickaxe trying to get some silk touch because I want it for this episode. I was hoping to get it from the table, but we do have a villager right here that sells silk touch and I already have a couple of books as well. So luckily for us, oh, there's some XP from when I was grindstoning. There we go, pick that up. But luckily for us, we can put silk touch right on our pickaxe. And now we have a silk touch pickaxe. And this is going to save us so much coal from smelting all that stone up. Now, in between long plays, I have done a live stream here on YouTube where we worked on a pathway, as you can see here on the map, going all the way around the lake. I absolutely love this pathway, especially these double street lamp posts from Macaws Lights and Lamps. They are so, so beautiful and we've added them everywhere. And then back over here by this section, we did a bunch of terraforming and pushed back this hill, which I may eventually fully remove. I haven't decided yet. We removed all of the old crops. We kept the sugar cane, of course, because I don't have anywhere else to grow it. And the flax is still there, but I promise I will move that. It's going to go over by the barn area because there's a couple of crops that we don't have over there that I want to add over there. Anyways... We terraformed a ton up here as well, and even this area over here, this was all different, so it was a very productive live stream. And I was thinking here we could put like a gazebo or something for our waystone. And then even over here, we added some benches so you can come and sit down and relax after a long walk around the lake. And there's even more seating areas alongside this way, especially like right up here, there's a double benched area where you can look out onto the lake and how beautiful it is, you can just enjoy well, all of the views of the buildings. Although there's only a couple buildings right now, eventually there will be more. And while we were doing this on stream, I actually marked this area over here with a dirt pillar because I thought this would be the perfect area for today's build. And truthfully, I'm thinking about keeping it up on a higher level, like up here, and building up a retaining wall, kind of following around this way? And then we'll have like a little bit of a raised kind of house or something up here. And it'll add some height variation to this area, which I feel like right now it's kind of just all green and stuff. And I don't think I'm going to build any other houses over here, but I don't know, some stone or another color I feel like will definitely help in this area. And yeah, I don't really have a plan besides the retaining wall, you know, kind of like pulling all the ground up there. So I'm kind of excited to just jump into this one today. And as for what we're going to keep in there, well, I was thinking we could probably put all of our little villager stuff in there because they are taking up a lot of room in my house. I did have to go reset up the iron farms as I was getting a little bit low on iron, lower than I wanted to be as, you know, lanterns are kind of expensive. But additionally, we do have this little setup with like the breeders and the farmer and the incubator. And there is still quite a few villagers in here, so we could also set up some more traders if we needed some bricks or something like that, you know? But in general, it would be just great to get them out of here as they are loud, and I am running out of space in there. It is getting quite cramped, and I need to do probably in the future a little storage expansion. And you know, what we could do is actually just mine into the mountain where it is now and just make it like two or three times larger, but that is a problem for future Froggy. That's not a today Froggy problem. Before we head into the caves, I want to go back into the house and grab some coal so we can make some torches. And then I want to go grab up a bunch of stone. Because we only have, yeah, like just over two stacks of stone. That probably won't be enough to make stone bricks and stuff for our retaining wall. And I don't know, I just like to start off most of my episodes with gathering some materials. It just feels like the most natural thing to do when you're making one of these long plays. All right, let's just double check my inventory. I do have these rotten tomatoes for some reason, so let me put those away. And then we should be good. Actually, I just wanted to show you guys. So the moss is still growing, but we only have 400. It's going pretty slow. And then next to this, I have some spruce growing and that's going a little bit faster, but I just figure having some spruce growing is probably for the best because I do use it for like literally everything. And I mean like literally everything. 
like look at just all the floors and the walls and everything in all my houses it's everywhere but that is going to be for later on let's go down into the caves we'll gather some stone and maybe some andesite as well i always like to put andesite in with my stone and stone bricks i just feel like it's a very good variant to them it's soft but it's ooh, some coal all right let's still touch this so we can fortune it up later and gotta jump down and grab that really quickly now i don't have mending on that pickaxe yet and i don't have mending on all of my tools yet you know some of them still don't have mending on them but i will like slowly get there over time i'm not like too worried about it i've been kind of doing all of those like boring villager rolling tasks and stuff over on live streams here if you guys want to watch them they're always in the live streams playlist by the way Getting mending was pretty lucky in this playthrough, but oh wow, this is a lot of andesite, by the way. But sometimes it can take hours, so I just don't want to bore you guys with that kind of like villager rolling stuff in the long plays. It's just not that fun to watch. But yeah, I rolled a bunch of villagers the same day that I got the diamond armor, which was I think the stream before we did the pathways. And like I said before, if you guys ever want to watch those or catch up on them, they are always in the live stream playlist available for you. Now, I do feel pretty lucky that we found all of this andesite so much early on. I thought we were going to have to go like searching and digging deep for it, but oh, there's some copper. Yeah, we should definitely get all of that too. There's more over here. Let's grab that as well because I'm definitely going to be wanting to build something with copper. I'm definitely a little bit inspired by Infinite Drift lately. And so I think we might build like a little, you know, fishing hut on the lakefront with copper, maybe like a copper roof or something. But that does remind me that we're probably going to need to get some bees set up. So maybe today before we actually start building, we can go on a little adventure and look for some beehives. We're going to have to put Silk Touch on our axe, which is totally fine because we have extra books. Anyways, I hope everyone's been doing well. I have been doing great. I have been just busy recording. And as I've mentioned in previous long plays, I actually have started recording the 100 Days of Stardew Valley, which is going fantastically I'm really, really, really enjoying the new update and I can't wait to share this 100 days video with you. It's gonna be so special, I think. Beyond that, I've been really enjoying filming the Create series with Blockdown. It's been so, so, so much fun. In fact, by the time this goes out, I think that episode three of the Create series will be out. So I hope you guys are really, really enjoying that. I'm having so much fun with it, honestly. And slowly but surely, I am working on the next episode of the Hardcore series. It's just a big one. It's a banger, you know? On top of that, I'm still live streaming on Twitch every week. I have been canceling some streams though to focus on YouTube content, which has been helping, I think. And of course, I'm posting my Twitch VODs as well. If you guys are interested in watching them, make sure you check out the description for the Twitch VOD channel called VOD Crafting. Okay, definitely want to still grab some more because we don't have enough yet. But yeah, I post my VODs. They are four to six hours. So if you guys like having my voice on in the background and don't mind a little bit of chaotic, um, well, chaoticness, that's not family friendly, by the way, if you guys are watching with the younger folks or if you guys don't prefer sometimes cursed or sometimes real conversations. But every week two VODs come out and I currently have them scheduled for about two to three weeks um, in advance. So as soon as I'm done streaming, I download my VODs and then edit and re-export them. You know, adding a little bit of background music, cutting out the breaks, etc. But for those who can't make the Twitch streams, I forgot that I had an axolotl. Oh my gosh. I, like my brain lagged there for a moment. I was like, what do I do? Anyways, for those of you who can't make the Twitch streams and you really want to watch any of that content, feel free to check out the VODs channel. It's always there as an option, even if you just want to skip through and kind of see what we were up to. All right, let's check out, after I torch this up, what we've got in our inventory. So we've got a couple of stacks of stone, but I want to get a little bit more as you guys know me. I'm an overgatherer. I need to make sure that I have enough so I don't have to come back in halfway through a project and start mining again. And we'll also get some more andesite as well. It's always good to be prepared for future projects. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of content going on right now. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support on it. Even if not everything that I've been trying to do is your favorite thing. I appreciate you guys trying out all the different things that I have been making and... Yeah, thank you guys so much. 
I also appreciate your patience as I find my footing in becoming more, you know, consistent here on YouTube. I'm trying to get there. You know, health issues, computer issues, other issues aside, I really, really want to be more consistent. So I'm doing my best and I appreciate you guys having patience for that. I'm trying not to treat these long plays too much like a stream because I feel like sometimes I just chat like it's a stream in these, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for all your support and all your kindness. It really means a lot. How far down is- <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, well I don't have feather falling, but that didn't do that much damage, but that scared me. Oh my gosh. That was uh, scary. Ooh, some more coal. Let's go. I need to find a better way of having fuel. Probably it would be good if I made a little lava farm for myself. Maybe that could be our next episode is setting up like a little couple of houses that have little farms in them, like a lava farm and maybe like a little sugarcane farm or something. We could call them farmhouses, but instead of being for crops, they could just be for actual farms. Well, you know, I think it is time that we head upstairs. I thought that I ate that hamburger, but I guess I didn't. Nothing down there, no coal or anything that's easy to grab. I think this way is the way out, back up to the tunnel that I know where the exit is at. Up over all this like blue moss, which I still want to find a use for as well. Yeah, here is the hole that we came in on because we placed that andesite there to go across. All right, yeah, this is more than enough stuff for now because we did have some stuff upstairs as well. So we should be good. Now we can just scale up out of this cave the same way that I always do. Probably need to get an elevator or maybe like some kind of, you know, rope ladder or something down here instead of having it be like this messy jumping puzzle, but it's fine. And what a gorgeous, gorgeous night this is. I really can't wait to see this area all filled up with buildings. It's going to be so, so amazing. I know not everyone is interested in series, but I hope you guys don't mind this series too much because it's kind of like each one is its own thing, but eventually over time, they'll all come together to make something really, really grand. And actually, I'm not sure why I went in there because I'm trying to put away stone and andesite. So let's get all this put away. And also the diorite goes in there. And then we can fortune this stuff up later. But for now, oh, I have a bunch of copper already. Okay. For now, I'll just put all of that away. And we do have quite a bit of iron now that I've AFK'd for some as well. But yeah, let me show you guys what I think I want to use today. I want to use some of this magic wood that we found on a live stream. It's from the Biomes of Plenty mod, and it's like this very, very pretty blue plank. I was thinking this could definitely be a very, very pretty roof. As you can see, it's almost like a powder, but like more intense blue. I don't really know how to describe it. But I really, really like that color and we've used a bunch of pink and we've used some green and some red for our roofs already. So I think bringing in a little bit of blue can actually make this area pop really, really well. But before we start building today, as I mentioned, I want to go get Silk Touch on our axe so we can actually start gathering some beehives. And let me just grab some more iron here because I do think our anvil is about to break over there so we can replace it. And I think we did leave our boat over by the sugar cane and there's a spider here. Let's get that guy. Get out of here. Although he did have a hat bag. So let's open that up. Oh, it's the big brain hat. I mean, we do have this one, I think. It's very, very funny. I really like this one, but nothing has so far beaten the RGB ribbon that we have been wearing. I just find it so, so cute. Oh, and if you're wondering why there's some random boats here in the middle of the lake, it's because there were some wandering traders that spawned and yeah, we put them in the lake so that they could have like a love island kind of thing. But I don't think any of them really found love or were interested in that, you know? They just kind of despawned. So we'll grab here a silk touch book and then we'll go ahead and oh, I already have silk touch on my axe. I did not realize that. Well, we can just put it on our shovel. That's fine. And let me just craft up an anvil before we go and I'll put it here so that when this one breaks, then we'll have another one in backup. 
Okay, let me just get all of this out. Oh my gosh, my brain was lagging there. I couldn't figure that out for a second. Okay, and we'll just set this up here on top. And when that bottom one breaks, we will um, have that fall down and it'll be fine. All right. Well, let's go and go on a little adventure to find some beehives. Now, there is a wandering trader over here. Just want to check out what he's got. And eh, nothing really that good. Now, I think we are going to have to go and search for some other kind of biome because I don't think that you can actually get beehives on spruce trees. At least I've never seen one. So I don't know. Maybe with these mods it's possible. But I think over here maybe we can probably find some beehives. I don't know. Looking at the map, I don't think we found a flower forest. So that's kind of out right now. And you know what? We haven't found dark oak either. So at some point, maybe on a live stream pretty soon, I will go and look for dark oak as well. But let's grab our boat because we will probably need it. And this is still our original boat from the first episode, by the way. Love this boat so much. I just think we're probably going to need it if we're going to be going and exploring, you know. And that's another wandering trader. Like the other one is over there. So this must be a different one that just spawned. Do you have anything good? Oh, that magic sapling. That's what we're going to be using. That's so weird that you have that. Um, but I don't want anything else from you. So I think we will head this way over to the village. And we'll pass by our little barn and crop farmland area. Oh, I love this area so much. I think it is so, so beautiful. Although I do lag a little bit over here because there's so many cows. As you can see on the mini map, there's so many cows and sheep over there. It's very, very bad, but that's okay. Now, I think I do remember seeing a couple of beehives being used in these houses as like tables. So maybe we can find a couple of beehives out in the wild and then also breed the bees up to use these like empty houses. But I've just got to grab them. I don't remember which houses they're in, but it doesn't look like this one has any. Hey, dude, you're like the last guy over here. Oh, there's a guy right here too. Hey, is this helpful? I hope you can find your way out of there because there's a guy over there you could repopulate this village with. This door's open, but I don't think I've ever been in this house. Yeah, this is like really different. There's a chest up here with some bread in it. No, I feel like I would have been in here. And there's like a little, what is this? Like a little plank? You have to like jump off or something? Oh, it's like a crane. Okay, never mind. It's not a plank. It, this is not a pirate ship. Maybe it was in one of these smaller houses that I remember seeing the beehives in. Although this one has scaffolding. And that's another one of those other houses we've already been into and this one is yeah that one's the cartographer okay well maybe i was mistaken and i'm thinking of another mod pack or something i feel like i definitely saw some beehives though well it is no matter we will go and search for some beehives this way but i think that there's like a little forest on the other side of the river over this hill i don't think it's a flower forest but Sometimes I do find beehives in the forest. Although I, I just feel like with all the flowers over here, there should be a way for you to get beehives in this biome. Maybe because of the spruce trees you can't, but have you guys ever found spruce trees with beehives on them? I wonder how far away our nearest flower forest is. Do we have our nature's compass on us? Oh yeah, we do, okay. So let's just search for flower forest and search 3,600 blocks away. Oh, that's, that's really far. That's really, really far. We could probably go to that like terracotta mountain, but then we still have so far to go. That's not even close. It's still 2,000 blocks beyond that. Oh no. Yeah, our waystone is right on the side of this mountain right here. So 
we would have to go back and then teleport to our waystone, and that would take about 2,000 blocks off the journey. But since we are already in this area, let's go ahead and search this forest for some beehives. And ooh, I love these flowers so much. As we expand on the Clovervale area, I definitely want to add these to our pathways and stuff. They look like little flowering clovers to me. They're so cute. Over there, we passed corn. Actually, speaking of corn, we definitely need to get some corn planted because I want to make some more tacos. Hello, any bees? Any bees buzzing around? Oh, there was one. I saw him in the corner of my eye. There he is. Where do you live? Where's your house? I would like to come and find your house to look at it. Not to steal it, I promise. This is not, this is not your house. Well, I guess I'll look around and see if I can find the beehive on my own, since he's just kind of vibing up there. Some more of these periwinkles are always welcome. But I don't see any beehives. And now I don't even see the bee. Oh no. What have I done? Hello? That sounded scary, whatever that was. Hello? Any bees? Oh no. Where'd you go, bees? I can't remember if we actually have any of these orange leaves or anything. But let's grab some of this because I think we can use that to make some kind of food. It's like a farmer's delight add-on. And I wanna use my fortune pickaxe. I don't know if we can get an orange sapling, but maybe? Hopefully we can get at least one. That way we can replant over in the Clovervale area. We could do like a little orchard. And you can use this to make orange juice. Oh, and you can make crates out of it as well. Well, let's hope that we can get a sapling or two. Oh, I think that was one. Yes, perfect, okay. Now we can replant over in our area. Oh, I think that was another one. Yeah, that was, okay. Let's grab those leaves as well. They're kind of cute. All right, now back to searching for that bee. I don't know how he got so far away from me, but that's okay. We can always head to the flower forest as well. I just need a couple of bees to get some honeycomb going. We can always breed some up. Oh, here he is, hello. Is this your house? I'll be, um, I'll be taking that. And let's just do another cursory little glance. Is there any other? Ooh, broccoli. Actually, this could be really good. We should get a field of this planted as well over by the barn. Yeah, we'll definitely need that for some food later on. Oh my goodness. Let me get those seeds. Those are very important. But yeah, now that we have those, I think I'm gonna head back and we can head to our waystone and then go to our terracotta mountain. And yeah, from there we can make the long journey to the flower forest. I think there's still a bunch of flowers that I don't have as well. So maybe while we're there, we can look for, I think we need oxide daisies and lily of the valley, especially because in an upcoming episode, I really, really wanna make a florist shop and then like, it's attached to like a greenhouse where there's botany pots like duplicating the flowers. I think that'll be so cool. And there's also some gardener and botanist villagers that we can get in there as well. And they can sell us flowers or we can trade them flowers for emeralds, which will be really, really cool. I tried to do all the big building for Clovervale in the long place. That way you guys can follow along and you don't miss out on anything big. And I'm trying to get faster at making long plays too, because I always feel like, oh, wait, there's a beehive right there on a spruce tree. Wait, so this whole time, could we have found beehives on spruce trees? Is this like a rare occurrence? Is this a modded thing? Um, sir, it's becoming nighttime. You need to go back in the beehive. All right, back, back in the beehive. The sun is setting. It's time to go to sleep. Um, this beehive is like broken. Like, look, the sun is literally setting, dude. 
Oh my god, watch out for the goat. Oh my god. Please don't get killed by the goat. I need you. All right, go in your house. Thank you. Let me grab that. Now we have two bees nests. That was very scary with that goat, but apparently you can have, you know, a spruce tree with a beehive. I've never seen that before. All right, well, let's double check these couple of houses over here and see if they have any beehives. Any beehives in this one? Oh, see, I knew that I saw some. I guess it's just in these taller houses that they're available. So I don't know how to feel about that. There's, oh, there's another guy up here. Hello. Close that door. You don't want to die. All right. I don't know if I've ever been in this house either. But it looks pretty fancy. Oh, there's a bunch of bookshelves in here. You know what? I could have come here for my enchant table. Like, there are 12 bookshelves. I would not have had to wait so long for all that leather. I'm just going to take them now because I can use them to decorate. And I'm going to take the lecterns too in case I need any more villagers rolled. And then what's upstairs? Wait, have I been here before? I mean, sometimes I do block off stuff, but this looks like the mountain grew into the house or something. Yeah, I definitely don't think I did all of this, but wow, this was... These poor villagers, I mean... Who knows what happened? Was there like a landslide? Is this meant to be like this? Just messed up generation or something? I don't know. I'm going to leave it. I looked for some villagers. Didn't see any. All right, let's jump down into the water. Perfect. And let's head home. I can get around all of these trees and stuff. That is a botanist house from that other mod, the beautify mod. By the way, have you guys figured out which mod does these villages yet? Because I still am not 100% sure. If you guys have found it out, let me know. Oh, and you know what? I need to get a chicken coop going and I need to run away from that skeleton. Maybe on an upcoming live stream, I will do like a little chicken coop with stuff because I always need eggs for cooking and I also always need feathers for crafting. And this area is still very, very dark. I need to get like a better source of light, maybe some like shroom lights under moss carpets or something and light up this whole area. And let's take a moment before we go to the waystone. We'll just empty our inventory. Actually, nope, not the nature's waystone. Just make that all clean. Put it, you know, frog crafting backpack syndrome. I know Lona is going to comment this. And we'll go to the Terracotta Mountain. And now we are only 2,400 blocks away. So we did shave off some of the journey. But before we go further, we should probably sleep a little bit. All right, well, I don't really want this whole video to be about me walking 2,500 blocks to the flower forest, so I'm gonna fade out and I will bring you guys back in a little bit when I get there. Or of course, if something interesting happens, I will bring you back. But see you in a little bit at the flower forest. I have finally made it to the flower forest, so welcome back. This has been a very, very long journey. I am pretty much running out of food and running on fumes. But as you can see from the map, we have basically doubled the distance away. Our house is here, which is about 4,000 blocks away from where we are right now. Now, luckily over here, I found a waystone in a village because my map picked that up while I was, you know, coming down. I saw a village there. So luckily we do have a waystone to place in the flower forest. Oh, and there's some bees right there. Luckily, it's becoming nighttime again, so all the bees should go into their houses. Although, I think this one is stuck. There we go. Oh, that had three bees in it. So, we got total bee location. Nice. Now, since we made the journey all the way here, I just want to see if there's any more bees close by. And also, I want to look for some flowers. You know, I want to grab a couple of the flowers that we can duplicate later. We can always get them with bone meal, but sometimes it's a little bit harder when it's, like, random. So... 
we could just get a bunch of these flowers now, that would be great. And while we are in here, let me grab the waystone down and then we can just plop it right here and we're going to name it Flower Forest. And then, yeah, we can just continue on our journey to look for Oxide Daisies. Yep, we did not have that one. And I don't know if we have Azures either, so we'll grab some of those. And Lily of the Valley, I don't know if we have, so we can also grab that. And that leaves our last flower I think we need to get being the blue orchid. wonder if there's any swamp around here. Oh, it's only 500 blocks away. We could head in that direction. Yeah, it does look like it's right over there. We could head in that direction and then pick one up. Just to be sure, because I don't remember if we have one back at home. And on the way, we can avoid mobs and look for some more beehives. Oh, there's one. Let me just grab that. It has two bees in it. Oh, I think my mob sounds are off. Yeah, I had them off because I was farming at the skeleton farm. Yep, they are definitely off. I will have to turn those back on in a moment. Now we'll have so many bees, it's gonna be great. Oh, here's two. Like the two for one special, just dodge the arrows and then run. Oh, I need to sleep, but I need to get away from the skeleton first. Okay, we'll just go boat over here. There's no bad guys over here. Oh, there's horses. And yeah, that whole swamp is coming into view. Okay, perfect. And there's already some of those blue orchids too. And there's a waystone. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's so lucky. All right. Let me swap out. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, let me swap out to my sleeping bag. We'll sleep and then let's go get that waystone. That is so, so lucky. Ow, 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 the rose bushes. Sometimes you can find waystones when you're exploring, but that never happens to me. Let's just yoink of that. We can probably use that to TP home or if we don't need it, we can save it. That's just some flax. What a beautiful area. I'm actually thinking, did we already go and see a swamp area? I feel like we did. I feel like I, because we have the frog, that's right. So we did see a swamp area, but I don't remember if we got one of the flowers. So we'll just go get one just to be safe. Luckily, we don't have to go too much further, and then we can just head back to the other waystone. And we have the upgraded swamps, that's right. So they have like different things in them. The Swampier Swamps mod, it's called. And we'll just pick up that flower, that's perfect. We already did have one. And then we can just head right back home this way to the flower forest. And as far as the rest of the adventure goes, when I pulled you guys away, well, it wasn't that eventful. I thought that I needed to get jungle saplings, but turns out I already had them. So I did get some extra jungle saplings and logs and also some cocoa beans. My memory is not what it used to be. And I have so many different worlds going on that sometimes it's hard to remember. Do I have this in this world? Aw, oh, man, I need to make some more hamburgers too. I had so many at the beginning of this, but I'm running out. We have 17 left. And of course it's raining. Uh, why wouldn't it be raining? Of course it is. <sighs> Naturally. Ooh, horses. You know, actually, why don't I go home and get my mob yoinker? Because I don't think I have one. I would really like some horses. Oh my gosh, that was very laggy. I'm so sorry. That was like really, really laggy. I wonder why. Wow, it's still so laggy. Um, I just need to get, sorry, my mob yoinkers. Let me just get a couple of these bad boys. Wow, it is still so, so laggy. 
Personally, I'm blaming all of those cows. Let me get a couple of these and then we can head out back to the horse waystone. And then we'll just capture a couple of the horses. Wow, it is still so laggy. It wasn't always this laggy and I just didn't notice. No, here it's not laggy. There's something going on over there. That's weird. All right, this one is pretty fast and also has pretty good jump height. Not the worst. He's so cute too. Let me grab, no, that one's really bad. And that one's also really bad. Although his jumps are not bad. How is this one? 2.7, 11.6. Okay, he's pretty decent. You know, I do like this one though. He's cute. So let's go on and go home. All right, let's go in here and go see. Do I have any saddles? Oh, I do. And I have horse armor. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Wait, actually, I didn't mean to put the horses away. Was this the right one? No, that one's cute, but I wanted the other one. I'm just going to grab them both because I don't remember, but this is the one. Okay. This one is cutie. So let me take him outside. We'll get a lasso and the saddle and stuff. Oh, I need a fence. Luckily, we have some leftover fences from when I made some street lamps. And okay, this is a good one. Let me put the other one away. All right, let's go outside and tame him and see how fast he is because it would actually be really nice to have a horse around here. All right, so, oh, he's quick. Oh my goodness. Can you just love me though? Oh, don't go over there, that burning flower. You'll take damage. We'll both take damage. No, no, no. You get away from there. Stop, no, get, get off of it, get off of it. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. I told you not to go on it. All right. Well. Hello? Oh, did I miss the hearts? Oh my God, you're so fast. Oh my god, this is going to make getting around here so much quicker. Holy, I love this horse. All right. You guys know what to do. If you have any name suggestions for this very fast horse, leave them in the comments. And after this episode comes out, whichever one gets the most votes, I will, you know, name the horse. I am going to make him some hay bales, though, because he definitely <laughs> is missing some hearts. And oh my god, the cows, the four cows, they're like, please, please let us out. All right, let's get all of this stuff out of there. And then we'll go ahead and make our hay bales, which we can feed to the unnamed very quick horse. Can you not trample my crops, please? I worked very hard on this. There we go. Oh man, this is incredible. I am so happy that we have you. His jumps aren't that good, but that's okay. For now, I'll have to attach him to this fence post, but eventually I would love to build like a horse stable for him and the other horses. All right, just stay here, buddy. See you later. And guys, don't forget, let me know your horse name suggestions in the comments and the most liked comment will become the new horse's name in the next long play. Okay, now inside to clear up my inventory and then we will start to work on our retaining wall. Oh wait, we have all these bees nests. Okay, actually we should probably do the little bee area first. But let me clean all of this out, at least all the stuff that has a spot already. Oh, actually let me put away this stuff so it doesn't go away in the wrong spots. And then everything else can just kind of fill the spots in my inventory and then go into the controller. Oh, I love this thing. It is such a good setup. No more frog crafting backpack syndrome. The other stuff that is still in our inventory, we can put away by hand. And I've actually gotten all of these music discs from the skeleton spawner, by the way. The skeletons drop backpacks and sometimes the backpacks have a music disc in them. And then this clay pot can go in this decorations one for now. And... Oh gosh, we're gonna have to move some more stuff over here. I've been trying to like move things around, but 
It's not been going the greatest. I need to upgrade my chests again. I need to get a better source of gold in this world, but I really don't want to make a gold farm. So I guess I'll have to just go mining. But we're going to make some charcoal for some campfires. Let me just clear out my furnaces really quickly. And we'll just put those in here. And oh yeah, lots and lots of iron. Oh my god. But let's go ahead and get some other stuff together. Like the trapdoors we'll need. So I have all of the ones that I'm going to need for the actual build, I think. But... I want to make some extra trap drawers because I always end up detailing with them as well. So let me grab some more. And by the build, I mean like literally just this little bee hole that I'm going to dig into the side of the hill, I think. <laughs> Not an actual build. I think I'm going to put it like right over there. And we can just silk touch a bunch of that stone. And for now, we can just dig into the side of the mountain here and put our bees nest in here. Although I did forget a door. So let's go get one of those. I even think I already have some cherry doors. So yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to need some dirt as well to plant flowers on. Just some regular old dirt. So we'll just grab some of that. And then could we get some grass in there? I mean, possibly. And then some flowers. Do I have any that are like a lot? The peonies, the lilacs. Oh, actually the poppies, that could work. Let's just grab a bunch of those so we can actually breed the bees as well. And then we'll need torches and I'll need sticks to make campfires. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably check on my charcoal. Oh, perfect. We just need nine because we have nine campfires. So that's actually very, very good. And we got nine across with the logs. Oh my gosh, we are we're girl bossing this today. All right, let's make a little temporary bee area. And I just want to emphasize that this will be temporary. I know you guys in the comments are going to be like, um, frog, this is not a very good bee area. But listen, okay, it's just going to be temporary. Eventually, we can make like a little beekeeper's cottage and that will be great. But today and... Probably for the next little while, it'll be a temporary little bee shelter over here on the side of the mountain. I am specifically using these bees to farm honeycomb for honeycomb blocks, candles, waxing, copper, etc. So we do unfortunately have to trap them into a location, but we'll open it up a little bit. We'll put some flowers down for them and then we'll come check on them. So, you know, we do have an empty beehive, but we can breed them a couple times as well. And a lot of the beehives that we have only have two bees in them as well. So all the bees that we breed will have a good place to go, I think. Let's get some lights in here so nothing spawns. But this is not my best bee area ever. I, I know it's a little bit small and cramped, but, you know, it is what it is. We've got to just make do with what we have. And sometimes it's okay to have a little bit of a messy area in your world. You can't always have the cleanest area ever. It's just not possible. I know a lot of people compare themselves to others, especially with like building and stuff, but this is just showing you guys that, you know, I also have times where I just kind of wing things and, you know, don't really have a plan, don't really do anything in particular. I'm just, you know, literally digging a small room into the side of the hill here, so. All right, so let's start setting up our bee area by placing all these campfires and then we'll go ahead and put our trap doors down in front of them so the bees can't fly into the campfires. And then we'll place our poppies. Oh, oh, I forgot that that's a feature that you can stack up flowers in one space. Oh, that's nice. All right, and then we'll put down our beehives. Bees nest, bees nest, okay. The beehive is the one that is man-made. I never remember that. And one of these should have honey. Oh, that one does. Okay, so we will go ahead and shear that off. There we go. And of course, it is nighttime. So let's go ahead and get some rest quickly outside. And then we can breed up the bees in the morning. 
Okay, the bees I hear are waking up, so we can just grab our poppies and just breed up as many as we can really quickly. Oh my god, they are so cutie. I just love standing there with them all buzzing around. Did I get all of these bees? I think so. Oh, they're pushing me. I'm, I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared now. Okay. And for now, like I said, they're going to have to stay in here and we'll just have to come and check on them every day or when we remember to. And now that that's taken care of, we can actually start building our retaining wall and build our house for today. All right, let's just adjust our inventory here. Put everything away except for maybe our tools and our water bucket. We are going to need those things. Yeah, let's grab all of this. We will probably also need that dirt. We can put the lecterns away. And I want to get some other things from in the storage room as well. The first of which being andesite and also some more stone. And I'm also going to grab the stone bricks. And let's just go over to our stone cutter and we'll make some more stone bricks. But also... Hmm, what else can we make with the andesite? Oh, we have like that mossy and stuff, but I think I'm just going to make some polished. What about with the stone? What can we make with that? Oh, not, not a ton, honestly. Oh, we can make like walls with like... Can we make it just from the stone or do we have to make stone brick first? Okay, we have to make stone brick. Um... Let's see, which one do we like better? Let's place them both down. Okay, there's the wall and then there's the other one. That, oh, it's a gate, okay. I think I like the gate even though it'll be a little bit more difficult to use. I think we're gonna use the gates, they just look better. And we'll just put that one right there for later frog crafting to deal with. All right, let's make a bunch of those gates. And we'll take the stone cutter with us outside. What about our masonry thing? I don't really know if I want any of this andesite stuff, but maybe if we have like some stone variants, like the stack stone bricks, I'll take one of those. We'll just see how they look compared. Then we can just place those here with some andesite and the regular stone bricks and some stone. I mean, they're not the worst. I kind of like them. We'll take them. I don't know if we're gonna use them, but we'll take them. I kind of want to keep this like stone wall that we're going to be making a little bit simpler because we will have the house going on top of it and also we'll have the fences that are kind of modded around it. And where do I want this to start? Probably like right here, right? So let me just get out my, where is my stone brick? We'll just make like a basic outline. Actually, do I want it to be there? Oh, you know, I was going to do the top out of polished andesite. That's why I made that. Okay. So recently I just learned that if you put polished andesite on the top of, you know, a stone structure, it looks a little bit more official. I don't know. It adds a lot of structure and you can also put it as like the sides if you want to have like a lot of structure on the sides. But for here, we're just going to be using it for the base and then we'll use stone bricks on the bottom for the sides. Let me just bring this out and then we'll remove this old stuff here. I haven't planned this, so we're just going to kind of wing it. Let's just remove this piece right here and then we'll start to see. Do we like the shape? I mean, that's going to have to change. That's much better. And some of these are going to have to go, but we'll worry about that in a moment. Let's just get the shape right. We'll just bring it over this way. And... Is it two enough? No, we're gonna have to move that. Oh, it's an ax. That's how you get that to be better. Okay. Uh, there we go. We can just bring it back all the way here. And that should be good. I think that this is a pretty good size for like a raised retaining wall little bit of this area. 
Of course, before I can be convinced of it fully, I just need to walk along it and see, do I like it from all these angles? Does it look good? Is it cute from this angle? Do I need to move it? I think it's fine. Do I want to move it upwards though? No, I think, yeah, I think keeping it on that level is better. All right, let's go ahead and get all these fences on there. I mean, they're gates. I should stop saying fences. And we'll just get them all going the same way until we get to the curve. Whoops, didn't mean that. So here, how do I want this to go? I definitely don't want it to be that way. Whoops. Okay, like that, I think. And then maybe that middle one. How am I gonna do this? It doesn't connect. Maybe, oh, maybe we get with the light post there. Oh God, this is awkward. Um, they're gates, I could just open them. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. So we'll put this one, well, that way. And here in the middle, let's just do a lamp post because we can't make it connect anyways. And of course there's a wandering trader just randomly showing up. There we go. All right, I think I like that, but let's go ahead and start getting some of this like more even and place all of our dirt. So we're gonna have to remove all of this little bushy tree bit here. We'll remove the log and then continue to pick up these leaves. I need to make a hoe with efficiency five and silk touch on it so we can easily get these leaves. Do you have something good, sir? Mm, oh, dark oak sapling. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's hope that I have enough to get a couple of these. Otherwise, we're going to have to go trade some sticks with our villagers. Even if I can only get one, though, I can still grow dark oak wood in botany pots, and eventually that'll produce more saplings. It'll be slow, but... Oh, yes, okay. Just enough. We can get one sapling, and then I will put it in a botany pot. Wow, the wandering trader actually had something that I wanted for once. That is... different. I will be taking that. Thank you very much. We put that in our backpack for safekeeping for now, and then we can continue on our little mission. So let's fill in this entire area here with dirt. So we wanna make this all one level of the platform. I actually don't think I have enough dirt to do this, but that's okay, because we can dig up dirt from underneath and use that. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more than the one and a half stack that I have. But like I said, that's no problem for us. We can just get a bunch of this from down below and then we'll put some torches down here and no one will even know. And this is probably more than enough. Let's go ahead and grab our torches and place some down. We'll do another one right there and that should be good. And now we can finish off the top section. Okay, all of this grass that we picked up down, help it spread a little bit faster. And then the rest we will just fill in with dirt. Um, Please move, please move. Gosh, the wandering trader is so annoying. Even if he sometimes is useful, he's just so annoying. Please leave. Get out. Get out of here, please. Oh my gosh. Like it would be fine if he wasn't just all up in your space all the time. All right, let's get the rest of this all filled in. There we go. And now we have to worry about this bottom part, which I'm gonna use the stone bricks and the andesite and stone for. So basically I kinda wanna use the stone bricks in the corners and then like every three. So we're also gonna use it there. Sometimes this pattern won't work out based on the, you know, amount of blocks that you have, but you can always try your best. 
that was wrong. And let's just fill that hole in. That looks good. I like that. And then here in this part, do I want to do... No, I think I'll do the middle one as stone brick and then leave the edges as the other pattern with just the stone and the andesite. I think that'll make the most sense. And then on this area here, I mean, this is like five wide, so we'll just do the middle three as the stone and andesite, and then the edges as the stone brick. And this one's a little bit tougher because it is much, much longer, but we'll just kind of break it up as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to kind of match a basic pattern. And if you can make sense of it, that's all that really matters. Plus, I mean, how many people are really going to be checking? Well, did frog crafting make that completely even? Probably not. From a distance, you just want it to look like a cohesive piece that has structure and purpose. And I also want it to be a little bit repeatable in case we need to use this pattern anywhere else for like another retaining wall. So I think keeping it simple is the way to go. And then once we fill these in, that should be pretty much the whole wall done, except for this little area over here, which we need to fix. But we're gonna just cut that off because of the hill, so. Let's see. Oh, it looks really good, actually. Wait, I can't remember what that spot looked like before because now that this is here, this is like perfect. All right, so now let's remove a little bit of this stuff because we'll have to get a pathway going in through here for the house. So this is gonna be just a very basic idea as obviously this can change once the actual house is up here because I don't know exactly how big it's gonna be yet, but I think it is clear. I'm gonna to have to remove some of that hill and expand that a little bit. And as far as this area here goes, I think we could just kind of fill that with flowers so it doesn't look as weird. And then in free cam, I feel like that looks really, really good. You don't even really notice kind of that the fences aren't touching. Yeah, I really, really like that. All right, let's quickly go ahead and head to sleep. That way we can actually start terraforming. And before I actually start working this morning, I'm just gonna dump everything into my backpack and bring back the frog crafting backpack syndrome. That way I can just grab everything when we break it here and we'll be good to go. I find this kind of destruction oddly calming, even if it is a little bit chaotic with like all these extra blocks that you wouldn't normally have in vanilla, especially all like the extra shrubs and the flowers and the leaves. It's just a little bit chaotic for the inventory, but this is a little bit better. And I just wanna make sure that we remove these trees as well, cause we just don't need them. And also I'm gonna get rid of this spruce one and probably this one too, cause I just don't think that we'll need that one. Probably should also get rid of this little guy. I feel bad getting rid of all these bushes and stuff, but at the same time, you know how it goes. They're pretty much all in the way. We'll pick up all these flowers for later on. We can use them to decorate with. And then, yeah, this guy's still gonna have to go. I definitely need to get a hoe. That is something that I'll probably do on a live stream as well. This curve is looking okay. Might need a little bit of smoothing, but so far so good. And we'll pick up all of these saplings so they don't replant themselves because for some reason that is a thing in this mod pack. I still haven't quite figured out which mod is doing that. I don't really know much about any of these mods, to be honest. I just was like, oh, this looks like a cool thing and just added a bunch of stuff together. But all right, let's start working on the outline for our house. So just bring this over here, seven blocks. Yeah, that works. And then we'll bring it across another seven. And then we'll make it like, um, actually like do a seven by nine. Yeah, that, that'll make it better. 
And then I want to bring this back to blocks. Maybe do it like five wide. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then do we want to do it a square? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well, that was wrong. So we'll remove that and we'll go in one. That'll be by five. But I think we'll just make it five by seven. So it's straight on the back. And then there's a seven by nine and a five by seven attached to each other. I like that. That seems like a good size. This will mean the back is a little bit boring, but I probably am going to put another building there someday. So you won't really see it on the corners. I'm just going to come in with some strip spruce and we're going to just go up by three on the corners. And that'll be just to get some different colors in there. Can you guys chill? And of course, our whole foundation is not going to stay stone brick. It's going to be the same as the one below, except for we're not going to use the polish and a site. We'll have like an entryway here and then we'll have some windows over on that side. But I need to go get more wood and collect all of these as well. Luckily, we do have a bunch of our spruce growing in there, but I'm just going to plant some more oak really quickly, just in case we need it for the top part of our house. Because I think we'll do a similar thing like we have on our starter house. I really do want to bring some other colors over here into the Clovervale area, but for now, we are kind of stuck with having a limited palette selection because I have no imagination right now. I really think that there needs to be an easier way to get clay besides drying out mud blocks or, you know, going to lush caves because the lush cave that's by me is pretty much, well, it was small and I grabbed so much of the clay there already, but wow, that looks really good already so far. All right, let's continue on building up these by three. It's just going to be a little shallow kind of building. All right, two, three. Oh, this I made it five wide, but it actually needs to be six wide if I want the interior part to have. Oh, that's awkward. Anyways, we'll just fix that really quick. I want this to have two windows and be like five wide, but it's, um, yeah, a little bit awkward. There we go. All right, now that is better. Okay. This all still makes sense, but I want to match up this part right here and have a pillar in the back as well. Just to divide up the room is a little bit easier. And then this should all be the same, which it does look like it is. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm going to worry about putting windows in after the walls are already up, which I know is a little bit weird, but I also have to put in a staircase. And we're also going to do the same thing that we did downstairs where we're going to do the edges of the stone in stone brick and then the middles in the regular stone. And andesite, of course. We'll just make it matching, you know? It's it's good to match sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. There we go. This one last wall here. And this will just be on the downstairs part. And we'll bring out the other stone again. Where's our andesite? There we go. And then from here, we can just start building up all of our little... You know, walls like we did with the other. On this wall, I think we're going to have a chimney. So we're not going to worry about windows or anything on that wall. This will be our entryway wall. I don't know exactly how that's going to look yet, but for now, we'll just do a little opening like that. And we'll continue carrying this through onto this wall. Just putting down our stone and andesite. That way it's actually a textured wall. Not too much texture, but just a little bit of roughness here and there with the andesite.
It still looks really, really clean, but also has just a bit of interest to it. And all the way around, it looks really good. So I think here we'll do windows, at least on this front bit. And then I'm gonna need a staircase in here. So let me go ahead and make some stairs really quick. I've got to figure out where that's going to go before I can figure out any more windows. So maybe something like this. We'll put something like that and that could be good. I mean, it's really going to only be me walking up this because our villagers won't be able to actually walk through here. You know, I actually think we're going to have to make that one taller. And then bring this little strip across here. I think that'll be better. And we'll just do this the entire way around. And that way when we place our floor, it's not actually blocking off the stone. So it'll be three blocks high still. I was like, if I place a floor down below, it'll actually only be two blocks high down there. And that's not what I want. I mean, three blocks is pretty low. I don't normally do three blocks. I normally do four or five, but it's fine for this. All right, let's start bringing up our second floor by four as well. If we need to raise this in the future, we can, but hopefully four is enough. And we'll just bring up all of our existing pillars. Now, normally I do texture my wood, especially the strip spruce with like oak and the flowering azalea oak leaves wood thing. But today I'm not going to do that as I kind of want to keep this very simple. And you know what? I am going to have to bring this up another one, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to fix all those. And are we going to go this way with this roof? Probably not. We'll probably go the other way. Oh no, I have... I have really hecked this up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, anyways, like I said, I'm just going to keep this simple because I don't want this to take up too much, you know, interest in the area. It's just a place for our villager breeder and stuff to go. So I don't necessarily want it to be like the most detailed or anything. And I also forgot my roof block, which we're going to be using that magic wood as mentioned earlier. So let me chop these down really quick and then we'll go ahead and go get our magic roof block. And let's just grab a bunch of these really quickly. I don't think we'll probably need more than that. But let me also grab, oh, I was gonna say, let's use flowering oak leaves for this, but we don't have that many. We only have two and I only have 11 saplings. So regular oak will just have to do. We can always swap the kind of oak leaf they are with our botanist table. So let's go do that. Where is my botanist table? Do I have a botanist table? I really thought that I did have a botany table, but I guess I don't, but we'll make one later. Instead, let's go ahead and get our fine planks made. There we go. Well, now we can go work on the next layers of the house and the roof. Oh, and this grew up as well. So let's go ahead and remove that really quickly. We'll leave that oak tree there for later. There was a couple more saplings still that were needing to be planted or growing, sorry. Let's get our stair down and then let's fill in this part of the roof, which we're, I'm just gonna use regular spruce planks for for now. And let me just empty a little bit of my inventory again because you know how it goes. Backpack syndrome and all of that. All right, let's just get this all filled in. The 
this build is going to come together pretty quickly as we are just keeping it pretty simple using simple materials that we already have besides the stone and andesite which we gathered earlier and luckily for us we have you know spruce growing all the time oh my god what the heck oh my mob sounds are still off let me fix that there we go oh my goodness that is embarrassing all right, let me go sleep as well. Oh no, I think that there's a baby zombie like running at me. Yeah, there is. All right, I'm gonna have to kill him. Oh, oh, stop it, stop it. Just go away and take your dad with you. You snuck up on me and scared me. And now we can continue to build in peace, thankfully. Now that it's daytime, no more mobs should be in here. And I think I want to swap that out and do a like offset door and a window there. Yeah, I think overall that looks a little bit better than just like a single door. Ooh, epic hat bag. All right, let's see. What do we got? Rainbow orbiters. Oh, I think I've seen this one before. This one's kind of cute. Ooh, all right. We can use this one for the rest of today. As I mentioned earlier, the RGB bow is definitely my favorite so far, but I kind of like this one. This one's cute. All right, let's go up and finish our floor up here. And then we can get started on putting up the walls and putting the roof on, which is gonna be great, I think. But just so that that doesn't happen again, let's get some torches up in here. We'll put some down here as well. That way it stays lit up, no scariness. And we'll do some stripped oak and then our fine vertical oak planks. These are my favorite ones from the chipped mod. They're just so, so cute. But if you guys don't have access to mods, you could easily rebuild this with just stripped oak and just some, you know, oak planks. It'll look a little bit different, but it'll be nicely textured. Uh, but you could basically have the exact same build that I'm doing right now, you know? I think I am really getting to enjoy exploring this like modded section of building and the different mods that we've been playing with, like the storage mods and stuff. Because truly it is, a very very big privilege to be able to have mods on my computer not every computer can run mods and not every like console or anything can have mods although i did hear on my last twitch stream that they have added like a decoration mod that's free to bedrock and i think it's like the exact same mod that i'm using in this world called another furniture mod if anyone has been using that mod let me know what have you guys been thinking of it anyways but more so what I was saying was just, you know, I understand I've been there. I had a computer once that could not run mods or even texture packs or shaders or anything. So it's definitely something that I feel very lucky to be able to do. And very soon I want to get into like the cheese and the winemaking and stuff. I just haven't gotten there yet because I'm trying to get a little bit of basics going on in my area before we start building up like a winery and stuff. And right now, all my brain can think of is just, you know, add a little balcony with trapdoors. And this is okay. I normally wouldn't add a trapdoor balcony because villagers are silly, but since they will just basically be trapped inside of their station blocks, this is fine. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, do I want to start detailing or do I want to wait? I think for now I'll just wait. We'll just come upstairs and finish up the walls and then go through the detailing phase all together. Anyways, it has been over an hour since I first started recording. So everyone just make sure that they're taking care of themselves. This is your reminder for meds, water, food. Have you moved your body today in any way that you are capable of? Have you rested? Have you given yourself grace and space to make mistakes and been kind to yourself? Always, always, always take care of yourself, even when it's hard, okay? You got this. We all got this. And sometimes it really, really sucks out there, but it will get better. I hope so.
I have to believe so, right? I have to live in a world where hopefully it gets better. And what can make this better besides a hamburger in Minecraft? Actually, you know, I haven't had hamburgers in a really long time because I haven't really been eating out or anything. And I normally have hamburgers when I go out to like eat. Maybe it's time to go and have a hamburger again. What's your guys' favorite way to have a hamburger? Do you guys like a lot of sauce and toppings or are you guys a little bit more plain? Sometimes I see, you know, just a little cheese, maybe a little bit of onion or something. Sometimes that hits the spot, you know? There's this like little burger place near us that has some like seasoned fries and they're like seasoned with Cajun seasoning. It's so, so good. But I've also seen them like seasoned with, well, in Dutch it's called paprika seasoning, but it's basically like kind of like a spicy bell pepper seasoning. It's so, so good. Seen those as well. But that just leads into a bigger discussion about what is your guys' favorite form of potato? Because I really like pretty much all potatoes. I like scalloped potatoes, which I never thought that I would like as a kid, but I do like them. I like tater tots, hash browns, baked potatoes, french fries, mashed potatoes. Although I do understand when people don't like mashed potatoes, like the texture of mashed potatoes for some people can be off-putting. But I don't know. I'm just an equal opportunity potato eater. Like if there's a potato, I'm there. Let's get some more stairs made so we can finish up our roof. We'll probably need a whole, yeah, like a stack of stairs should be enough. I hope. And then this is going to have to go up. So this is going to be a little bit awkward. No. Okay. This will have to be... This one will have to be the one where it goes over, yeah, right here. And then it'll go up there. Ouch. Oh my gosh, this whole thing looks so flat right now, but I promise it won't stay flat. It'll it'll get better, I hope. The flat stage of a build is when I have to trust the process the most because, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel like it'll ever leave the flat stage and then you're like, oh no. But luckily we've learned a lot of tricks as we've continued to build to get out of the flat stage, like adding lean-tos and different kinds of balconies and all kinds of stuff. All right, and let's just go ahead and we'll move that torch up here so that it doesn't get knocked over by the water and then we'll go up. And now we can actually start working on our roof. I think it's the same distance across, so it should evenly and perfectly match up. Like once we put the slabs on top, it should be a perfect like connection. Won't have to do anything weird or funky with it. And let's go ahead and bring this whole thing over. And then we will make the front side match up with the back. And of course, it'll come from here. Then we'll just stack up our little simple roof. Now, I'm not going to do anything fancy for this one just because, like I said, I don't want this house to stand out too much. It's just kind of like a nondescript house that you'd see in your neighborhood. I want you to think of this house as like... The one house you always like went by, but never really like looked at. That's sort of what I want this house to be. And I know that's like a really weird way to describe how I want this house to be, but trust me, I don't want it to be making the big waves in this area. I want the other places to be able to stand out more. This is just for our villagers, so. And I mean, villagers are important, don't get me wrong. I just don't want them to be the main focus of this world. In my other worlds, they are more important, but obviously in like hardcore, they're just, you know, a definite necessity for like long-term survival and the long-term health of your world. But in this world, we don't have to worry about it too much besides like mending. That being said, I still do want to get a couple of stonemasons, but I probably won't do that today as I don't have a really good way to make emeralds. Right now, I've been just using basically only, you know, sticks. But 
hopefully in the future I'll have a better way to generate emeralds or maybe when I go to the nether I can get some blaze rods so I can actually cure my villagers. Then we'll get more bang for our buck. Having a couple of farmers could probably do us well though. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so beautiful. I love this blue color. It's actually gorgeous. I am so serious when I say that we need some kind of blue block like this that has stairs and slabs in vanilla. Because we have copper and we have prismarine, but neither one of those are quite right. I mean, prismarine's a little bit like more teal, so is copper. And then for blue blocks, I think that we just have lapis and concrete. I guess warped is also blue, but again, more teal. What is with Mojang not wanting to put any like actual blue blocks in the game? It doesn't even have to be like a real wood. It could be like a fantasy wood, you know what I mean? And this is this would be perfect for an end update. Although I don't know if they're ever gonna do an end update. And I also don't want something that is as big as the better end because that can sometimes be overwhelming. But just something, you know, Maybe a couple trays, like a blue and a purple wood out there or something. And I don't know if I'm the only one out there with this problem, but I am constantly gaslighting myself into thinking that I have enough of like a certain block to do an entire build. Like 44 planks for, or 44 stairs for this whole roof was not enough. But I will sit there and happily make 44 stairs and be like, oh yeah, that'll be enough. And I am constantly doing this. I, I did this in my last long play with like the amount of dirt I would need and I had to go get more dirt like at least 10 times. I think it partially comes from a fear of making too many stairs that I won't use. But then the other side is like, girl, you know that this is like a nine by seven, but add on two for the sides. So, you know, you know that this is a big house plus the other side, you're gonna need at least a stack of these stairs. Come on now. But I guess I don't really think in terms of like math while I'm playing Minecraft, I just, you know, the most math I will do is counting my blocks and that's pretty much it. All right, let's get these all filled in and then we can finish up our roof so that way we don't have to worry about those anymore. And don't forget to strip them all. And hopefully these are enough stairs to get all the way to the end of the roof. I hope 15, I think should be enough for the rest. Oh man. Can I pick that up? Yes. Okay, good. I feel like we are going to need every single last one of these. There we go. One left over even. And let's just pop in a free cam and take a look. It is looking so cute. I really, really like how it sits in this area. All right, let's hop down. Because I think I'm going to need a couple of extra things before we can make our chimneys on top. One of those things definitely being the charcoal that we made earlier. And then what else did I come in here for? Oh my gosh, sometimes I can't remember a single thing that I'm doing until it's too late. Um, we got sticks. We're gonna need some more sticks so we can go ahead and make our campfires. Luckily, we already have all the trap doors that we'll be needing. And I think we should keep this chimney pretty simple. We'll keep it made out of stone brick and keep it well maintained and not like broken down. It's not like, you know, very rustic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where did this tree come from? Oh my god, it's the biggest oak tree I've ever seen as well. Wandering trader, did you do this? Was this your doing? I know it was. I guess there must have been a sapling or something that fell down there that automatically replanted itself, but oh my goodness. I have never seen a tree like this, never ever. So let's go ahead, we can get all this free wood and some of the leaves if we need them. I mean, I feel like we've gathered a lot of leaves today, but we can still gather some more. Huh? 
just got to make sure that I get all of the oak logs. It looks like I have on this part. Although I do need some extra help over here on the stripped spruce for sure because when like when leaves are attached to logs they get weird and they won't despawn and I think that counts for stripped logs sometimes too. Okay there's one still. We can break that. You know, truthfully, I don't think I'll ever have to gather leaves again after today. Well, maybe, you know, that is a challenge that I would take on, to be honest. You give me one stream and every leaf that has ever been, you know, in this entire world, I could probably use. Okay, we'll just have to make a round and make sure we get everything so nothing else replants itself. I think that dirt is on top of a coarse dirt even. I'm pretty sure that was a core start there, but I don't remember. I just want to look at my building without that big tree there. <laughs> it does look good. I really like the wall too. And yep, it was a core start. So somehow something planted on top of like a leaf or a core start or something. And it like made its own dirt there. That's so weird. Okay, those are, that one's gone. Let's just get those last two while we're here. I can't reach them. It was so short. All right, there we go. We can just break these because we have so many leaves. I think that we have literal stacks and stacks of them. And just make sure one last time that we grabbed everything and we are good to go. What a, <laughs> what a little happening that was. All right, let's start building up our chimney and we'll start it with like a three wide at the bottom. I need some more stone bricks. And then we can go up with some spruce logs and bring our stone bricks all the way up. Do I want it to go up this high? No, that looks a little bit weird. We'll remove that and maybe a couple more layers, at least one. I have it like that. Yeah, that looks okay. But I do want to grab my stone cutter. I always like to bring my edges in with some stairs. Like that. And the leaves can stay there because we can like grow some leaves up the side, sort of like, you know, ivy. And I found out about this lattice from the hearth and home mod. It's so beautiful. I want to use that today. And these actually connect as well so they like look really really good together I don't know I just really love the way that that looks it's so so beautiful and I'll make some more probably to use on the top part of the chimney as well and we'll continue growing up our leaves all the way up and out here we'll do maybe not leaves maybe we can make some flower boxes though expand our pathway and then over here I think I'm gonna do like a little lean-to with some materials make some slabs oh some trapdoors as well for some like windows oh I like that but maybe not on the bottom I think the blue on the gray is a little bit weird but maybe on the top it'll be better I feel like it looks better against the contrast of like how warm the oak is. All 
right, let's get our flower box. Another furniture mod. These are the flower boxes that I was talking about earlier. They are so cutie. I love that they have like the little like supports on the bottom. They just look adorable. And each of these can support two flowers, I think. So we'll just drop some flowers in. Yeah, I love them. Definitely need to make some more. I need some more planks. And the rest of these I'll save for either other windows on this house or maybe other projects. Get some more leafage going on. Oh, thank you for the lead. And I do want to make a lean too, but I completely have forgotten how to make a palisade or a palisade. I don't know how to say that word, but luckily we have the Google, AKA JEI. Okay. That works. So let's do like one here and one here. I will stack those up all three times. And then we'll use our slabs. Let's just go from this side. It'll be a little bit easier. So we'll do just like on the actual house, a spruce trim. Oops, did not mean to place that. Meant to place a slab. And then on the inside of our trim, we'll add our magic wood and then finish off our spruce trim. And then we'll add a little bit of leafage because that's what we do. Maybe make a couple more lattices. I don't know. There's just something so beautiful about these. I really, really, really love these so, so much. There is another kind of lattice that you can make that you can put flowers on, but I don't know. I just don't think it looks as good as these ones. Oops, I did not mean to place that like that. And of course, now I'm also taking blocks out of the side of the building. That's great. <laughs> All right, let's just take a little pop into free cam and see that lean to actually adds a lot. I feel like the leaves have helped as well. Oops, sorry. Sometimes I hit F2 when I don't mean to or F3. But let's go get our little chimneys up here on the top. So we'll bring this one up. I definitely want to do, I think, double chimneys on these. I don't know why. I just feel like they're going to be really, really good. I think that'll be fine. And then, like, another one here. Yeah. We can just throw some andesite on the top of this one. That way that looks a little bit more smooth. I mean, who really climbs up on the roof to take care of these things? I mean, maybe some, but some people might. I don't think I've ever had a house that had a chimney on it though. I would love one one day. Cozy, comfy little cottage with a double chimney. How, how lucky would I be if I had that? And yeah, let's put some lattice as I mentioned earlier, although hopefully we can put it the right way. Oh my gosh. I thought maybe you could turn it, but you cannot. You just have to be very intentional about your placement. It is a little bit finicky, but that's okay. I mean, sometimes things are finicky and that's fine. Get a couple of more leaves going down here. That's fine. I'll fix that after. There we go.
Oh yeah, those chimneys have actually made a huge difference. And I love that they're like almost the same height, but just slightly different depending on the angle that you're looking at. Things like that in perspective make me so happy. And I hit F3 again, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, watching me play must be so chaotic for most of you, I'm so sorry. Okay, next up we are missing some glass. So let me go see if we have any glass inside, which we do not. So instead what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna empty my inventory and then let's go ahead and make some of our spruce into sticks and then we can go and trade those sticks for emeralds with our fletchers and then we can trade for glass. Buying glass from villagers isn't one of my favorite things to do, but at least I don't have to go out and go find a bunch of sand. So there's a plus. Also, I should have got the horse. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of those trees. And she's missing some details. Like our starter house is definitely more detailed, but she's looking good. I bet we would already be to the other side if I had gotten the horse. The horse is so fast. I mean, the boat's fast too, but the horse is a horse, you know? Hello, villagers. I'm just here for all of your emeralds. And then I will buy some glass and thank you very much. And then we can make this blue glass with some lapis. And that should be more than enough. Now we get to go back across the lake to the glass blower, as I want to use the same type of glass we've been using, but just in the blue color. I know it's a little bit silly, but that's my favorite glass and it kind of gives me Mizuno's vibes. So I like to use that one here because it just reminds me of my, you know, long-term Rosewood world and just makes me nostalgic. All right, let's head in and then, um, what were we doing? Guys, I'm so sorry. I have had a very long day today. I am so sorry that I have been so forgetful today. And I feel like I've lost track of my thoughts a lot. And I'm just, I just want to apologize for that. Um, it's the small blue, yes, that one. That one is the one we want. I'm so, so sorry. I've been a little bit distracted. It's been a busy couple of months. And I'm, I'm doing my best, I promise. I, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's get these windows put in. At least this is something that I can definitely focus on and know what I'm doing. And we need to add some more windows around as well, I think. But let's get these ones to start with. Then I think we can add some windows right here because on the other wall, we're definitely gonna be having that chimney. We're gonna add the same windows here. This wall, I don't think we can, right? Yeah, there's like a lattice there. Okay, so this one, we'll just close that up and forget all about it. And let's go ahead and work on our fireplace for upstairs. I wanna have a double fireplace. I wanna have one upstairs and one downstairs so we can get one right here and try to attach that up if that's possible maybe we can break through this right here and put the actual campfire back there and then let's put one of our gates in front of that because i feel like that kind of looks like one of those fireplace holder backer thingies and then I think we can make some more stairs with our stone cutter like we did outside to like match the sides of it going in. Oh, whoops. Yeah, let's actually just put that right there. That makes sense. Oh yeah, that looks cute. All right, and let's get some leaves because everything is better with leaves, I swear. Oh, 
Sometimes I go a little bit too wild with the leaves, but that's okay. I just don't personally believe that there's anything such as, you know, too many leaves. And, you know, if people are telling you that's too many leaves, it's just like when people say that's too much Parmesan on your pasta or something, you know, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. So let's go ahead and get a door over here for the balcony. I mean, the balcony won't be accessible by any of the villagers because they'll obviously be in their like little blocks, but we can still fill it in and that's fine. It's kind of a shame that they won't be able to come out here because this is a nice view of the area. But I do want to add a little bit of an overhang to it. So let's go up here and we'll do starting from there and then we'll come down one gotta put something there just to hold my space really quick and then let's try to get that first slab back hopefully we can just pick it up there we go and now this front area has a little bit of color and an overhang as well if you wanted to go out during the daytime and it's very very cute as we can see in free cam I do notice that our building is missing some greenery on the top, but we will get there. I'm trying to think of things that I can put around up here that won't take up too much space for all my villager farms. But we can add a little railing here to the staircase. And actually, I want that to go the other way. So let me do it like this and then go on top of those. So we can just remove these really quickly. Then what about this here? We can probably just kind of block that part off, strip that, and then maybe cover these. Will that look weird? A little bit. What if we take those back and then do it on the outside though? Yeah, that's a little bit better. I suppose we should also start to work on the floor in here, although now that I'm remembering this, yeah, we do have a bunch of open space underneath. So we'll have to just fill that in as it comes. This probably won't be enough planks, but we can pretend. Wait, have I actually done it? Is this actually enough? Oh my gosh. What a rare occurrence. Let's add the door. And let's add some more windows back here. And put in our blue stained glass. I think maybe right here we can get one in. This wall, we will do another chimney on. So let's just do that right now. Not a chimney, a fireplace, I meant. We can make this one look a little bit bigger. Oh, whoops. Kind of just put stone brick there. And we can pull that out a little bit. Add some shape. That's okay. That's cute. I want to make a couple of composters just to have another little like leaf catcher thing. I don't want to overly decorate this house as it's not really that important. I won't be in here that much. But just a few of these planters can help change everything up. It always looks like an area has so much more life when there's a little bit of greenery inside of it.
let's go ahead and work on the outside garden out here and just replace some of these flowers that we picked up earlier from the area surrounding. And of course we can extend our pathway. You know, it might be cute though. Some of those benches that we had, I think having another viewing spot for the lake outside of this house would make a lot of sense. But for now, we'll just give a little bit more life with some of these flowers around. And I did think that I had a bunch of benches left. Oh, some chairs can be nice. We'll do just two benches, some flower pots. Oh, these bookshelves might be something. Oh, I had beehives in here. Well, just one, but. Let's change these into all the same kind of a lantern. So this wooden cage lantern. I really like that one. It's very classy. And let's make a table. How did I stop typing there? That's weird. Okay. I think I want to make this one. It's a little bit easier to make. Okay, let's head back over and do some more decorating. First, let's add our lanterns outside here. The color of these reminds me of if they were like spruce lanterns. I don't know, they just fit really, really well in this like environment and style. And we'll get these going around in the corner bits. We'll have one back here. And then we can place some of our benches. But maybe we can place them a little bit closer to the edge. Like here. And there. I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to put under there yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. For now, we've got a whole interior to do. So let's add a lantern there in the middle. And then maybe if we do like another beam across here, we could hang a lantern from there. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. Now let's add some shelving over here and we'll get rid of that. And then on top we can add another lantern just for some extra light. Maybe do another shelving unit up there with some more lighting. This little balcony will get a lamp. All right, let's figure out what we can do with these bookshelves. We can make like a little library right here. That's kind of cute. Maybe something up there. Just capping it off with trapdoors, is that the answer? I don't know, it doesn't look bad. I actually kind of like that. And then we can go ahead and get some seating downstairs. I mean, this place is big enough that you could probably do multiple seating areas. Let's just see how we like this. We do like a double table. Oh, it doesn't connect. Oh, that's a little bit awkward. OK, 
Okay, so maybe just a single table there. And then we can go ahead and add some chairs. Of course, it won't let me click them. So I probably have to jump. I don't know why I'm struggling so much right now. We'll leave that one for a minute to see how I feel about it. And then we'll come upstairs and add another little seating area. Do we want to do it like one here? Oh yeah, that's kind of cutie. I like that. Okay, let's go back downstairs and add some more decorations. So we can kind of do the same thing with the bookshelves on either side of the fireplace. Obviously we don't have more to stack, but just kind of ties those two areas together. And I think I wanna move this. Maybe we can put it like right over here by the window. That looks a lot better. Maybe another little table there. I think it'll help if I put in the villager stuff. That way I know how much room I have on each wall and where stuff's gonna go. But I've gotta empty this out really quickly. Oh gosh. You know, that was a little bit messier than I anticipated, but that's okay. We'll just grab all of this up, switch to an X really quick. Is that a wandering trader? Hello. Oh, that huge lily pad. I don't really have a lot of emeralds though. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I've got to pick up all this stuff and I've got to pick up all these villagers and get this all set up. We'll put everything in here for now so I can pick up all those villagers. Actually, we can put our iron away. We don't really need that. And I do want to grab some other flowers for the window boxes. I think that would be really good. Oh, actually, yeah, the corn flowers will be good. So we'll get rid of those other ones. And is there anything from the cluttered mod I really want to make before we go over there? I don't think so. I just, I think that keeping this house a little bit more simple will be better. Although some of these blocks are so cool. I especially love like these yellow planks and the purple planks and stuff. These are glowing apparently. How do you even make that? Okay, glowstone and oak, that makes sense. Yeah, I like, I love these. I want to use those in a build soon. Anyways, let's go ahead and pick up all of these villagers. Can I fit any more? No, I cannot. Okay, that's full. We will just grab them in our inventory and take them over with this backpack. And then we can just put them back in the barrel until we need them. I don't know if we'll ever need this many villagers, honestly. I think we're gonna just set the backpack on the table and we'll leave it there. And then with everything else that we got out of this, let's go ahead and rebuild our little iron farm. Now how did this, wait, how did this work? They were all on the same level. I legitimately can't remember what I just destroyed. Oh my God. Oh, right. The chest was in the ground. That's right. Now we should be able to rebuild it even easier. So we'll have those going in there and then we'll have our hoppers, one going into the top and then the other ones going into the hopper. That's right. That's how we did it. And then once we get this placed, we just have to ignore the glass and then edit our anchor. Oh, I don't remember which one it was. I think it's this one. I think it's that one. And then this one we can probably just delete because I don't remember where that was supposed to be. There we go. And now that farm will be much, much quieter.
And then the other farm, I think we should put upstairs. There's just more room up here. So this one starts with the barrel at the bottom and then we'll put all the villagers in it. And then we've got a hopper with the incubator. And then we've got a hopper with the breeder. And then at the very top, if we ever need more villagers, then there can be a hopper from the farmer. Go ahead and get some flowers in here. We just need a couple, not too many, honestly. But I did have a bunch of little empty spots out here in these flower boxes. So we can put those away. And then we had more flower boxes for the back windows. And oh my gosh, we have exactly seven, which is how many we need. But I'll have to come back and put more flowers in here. Let's go ahead and add a couple of trap doors onto like these corners. That way it has just a little bit more shape. Normally I'd put barrels, but I feel like barrels will take away from how soft this build is. And I did want to add some more greenery onto the roof just to change it up and make it look a little bit more overgrown. And do some connecting leaves over this way. Break one of these so it like goes in. Put some on the back here. Much, much better. I feel like this area over here needs some kind of light. So maybe we can do that. It's a little bit weird, but I mean, it's not the worst, I don't think. Let's go ahead and make this into a stair so that way it frames the door a little bit better get some more lattice and leaves over here and build up this whole overgrown wall a little bit more not there but get rid of that that's good and we'll do a little bit more over here as well Of course I place it sideways again. Why wouldn't I? And I did it again. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you really have to be looking at it directly on to place it the correct way. And let's go ahead and get rid of these trees right here because we don't need these anymore. And I think they grew a custom or like a replanted tree up top. It's a little bit strange looking up there. I feel like we're still missing a couple of things from the inside of the house. So maybe some carpets after we're done with this. Otherwise, I think it's pretty much good to go. No, I think it still also needs a little bit of extra leaves and flowers out front. It looks a little bit bare in some spots. Yeah, that can go there. Maybe we can get rid of that one and move it back. Still got to figure out what's going over here as well. I don't know yet. 
Oh, but you know what's a good idea to think about? Maybe we can make some carrot crates from the Farmer's Delight mod with the carrots that our farmer is producing. Maybe it could be like a little food storage area for the villagers that will, you know, live here. We can just do a little bit more of that. There we go. Oh my gosh, 24 is a lot of these. I don't think we're gonna fit 24 outside. We can put a few of these out here though and then probably put the rest inside as like storage. This seems like a lot, but that's okay. Just some color and there's something over here to look at. There we go. We can put some inside to feed the villagers. And maybe we could put some more upstairs. Do like a little bit up here. Maybe another whole shelf. Oh, that is too high, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay, that's all right. We can fix that really quickly. Not like that, but like this. Then add some more up there. You know what, why not? Just one random shelf raised up. That's fine. And you know what? A big pile of them here is fine. All right, now, like I mentioned, I think this place could use some carpet. And I want to go and grab some blue carpet. So we're going to have to get some blue dye and take it over to our sheep. And do we have, do not have any shears. So let me get some shears. And then we can head over to our cozy little comfy barn and farmland area. But I do want to take a quick look back at the house from this distance. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. And now off to the farmland we go. We still do need to light up so much of this area. I really, really need to come through and get some like shroom lights or something under all of these, you know, leaves and moss carpets and stuff. Because it is so, so brutally dark out there. Hello, many animals that make me lag. I just need some blue wool if you guys don't mind. I don't know how much I need, but just a little bit would be good. Eleven. I Okay, I don't think that's enough. So I guess now we just kind of wait for them to eat. Or we can make some more dye ourselves. There we go. Dye a couple more of these bad boys. Anyone want to give me like three wool? There we go. That was a good one. You know what? How about you? 27. That is much, much better. All right, see you guys later. I'm leaving. I'm heading back over to the storage room so we can make a loom because I want to use one of the chipped kind of wool. I don't think we have a loom. And I can't believe that we don't have a botany table. I really thought that we did have one. Oh, also look at this little clover that I made with clovers from the Biomes of Plenty mod. Isn't that cute? Love that. Anyways. The botany table is not as important right now, but I do want to get one made at some point. Oh, and you know what? We're going to have to pick up all of those saplings and stuff on the ground. I think we're going to have to get rid of that spruce tree as well. Don't want anything else to replant itself. Even though every single time I say that, it still happens. But yeah, let's get rid of this tree because it's kind of in the way. It's blocking the view of the house. 
and we'll get rid of this bush as well. Actually, looking at this area, I think I might do some more retaining walls along the front edge of the lake. I'm not going to do those in today's long play. I'm going to let this long play be just pretty much about the house, but in an upcoming live stream for sure, I feel like that's what we're going to do. Also, I have no sprint and I don't know where my food is. Let me eat my apples, please. And maybe we could also get some candles for, you know, just some ambiance in there. Since we do have all of this honey. And it looks like some bees made it into all of these, which is good. So let's go inside and work on our loom and all of that stuff. All right, what do we need for a loom table? Just some very basic things that we should already pretty much have. Oh, except for sticks, which we can make easily. And there we go. We have a loom table. I don't know where we're going to put it forever, but for now, we'll just put it here. And we can chuck a course dirt there. So let's go ahead and make crosshair blue, soft blue wool. That's kind of cute. Can we? Oh, right. We have to make it back into the regular blue wool which I'm not seeing. Regular blue wool. Okay, for the only way for this to work is for me to change this back into string and then craft it back into wool and re-dye it with blue dye, unfortunately. But luckily we do have some lapis and I will go mining for some more. But it's very, very annoying that I couldn't find the regular blue dye or the regular blue wool again. And it's very annoying that you can't craft those down into carpets either. You have to craft it into carpet first. So let's go ahead and get the soft blue carpet and then we'll get some soft blue wool as well. And let's go get this carpet laid down. That was kind of a headache to figure out. I just, I don't know why you can't do it after, you know what I mean? Like you should be able to just make the carpet. It's the same amount of wool, but whatever, it's fine. There we go. This is looking cozy, but let's get some of this regular wool down in here. Remove some of that carpet. We'll use some upstairs as well. That's very, very good. Then how do I want to place this? It's a little bit... I only have five pieces, so... Something like that probably won't work. Over here, maybe? No. What about in front of the fire? That's a little bit... Eh. That's fine. And then we can just put a trap door over it and no one will even know down here. And of course it is raining once again. The moment that I want to take a like big look at our build. It's raining, of course. All right, let's go ahead and get some string for some candles really quickly because I do want to make some candles, as I mentioned. They're just a nice little decoration. I really like candles. And we'll obviously make them blue as well. There we go. And do I have a flint and steel somewhere? I should have one 
Yeah, perfect. Okay. I'm probably going to have to wait for the rain to be over to do my final walkthrough in this world. So it might take another day. Let's get these candles placed down and we'll light them. I imagine it would smell like blueberries and carrots in here. Which I don't necessarily know if that's a good combination, but sometimes I make these sweet carrots for like Thanksgiving as opposed to having like beets. And I don't know, I really like carrots actually. This is really cutie. Let's just take a couple more leaves. Go up here and add some. Cause I did notice that this looked a little bit a little bit bare over here. We'll take some trapdoors and put those across. Then of course we'll bring our leaves over here as well. And then as far as finishing touches go, we just need a little bit more foliage, I think. You know, some more flowers and maybe a couple more leaves scattered about and we do in our backpack have a bunch of different flowers like the poppies and we can always bunch those up by right clicking in the same spot that way they look a little bit more interesting on the ground i personally love this mod i don't know how i'm gonna go back to having this or not having this mod i should say You know, I really wonder what this would look like with the Mizuno's flowers. So in my next Mizuno's modded playthrough, I'm definitely going to have to add that. Oh, it's just so good. Let's add a couple more leaves out here and get this looking a little bit better. There we go. You can kind of, you know, parkour up that now, but that's okay. And yep, it's time for this other tree. Oh, I forgot about that spruce tree, but it's time for this oak tree to go as well. Just, I'm sorry, buddy. You've been a good tree, but a bunch of this has to go. I will plant more of you, I promise. Yeah, and like I said earlier, I think I might do some more retaining walls here, so I'm not gonna do too much to this area. I just wanna pull some of this back. Not too much, but just a little bit, you know? We could probably do a retaining wall from like this area and bring it all the way around over to our pathway down. I think that would probably be good. But I will probably do that on a live stream after, well, I think before this video comes out because I usually stream this on Wednesdays. I usually stream this world. So I guess at the end of it all, we'll see how it all comes out. Hopefully it looks good. I really think that this whole platform and stuff has really elevated this whole area. It's so classy. We'll just move that light post. Looks a little bit better back here, I think. Whoops, I always do that. I always misplace these. And there we go, that's all put together now. Do a little bit more leafage here along the path, just for like temporary, like cutting off the path from, you know, the little wild side of the, uh, not, the not the river, the lake. I almost said river. I don't know why, but I am just having the worst brain day today. I have already apologized for this, but I just want to say it again, I'm so sorry. It's been a very weird day for me. I think we can add one last thing into this area before we basically just have to wait out the rain and that's gonna be some coarse dirt to the edge of the pathways. I do eventually want to upgrade all of our pathways into mud blocks and like packed mud and mud bricks and stuff. But you know, for now the good old path block and coarse dirt will have to do. And we'll just add a little bit here and there scattered around on the edges of our pathway.
and I think that's gonna be pretty much it until the rain is done. So I'll eat a hamburger and just kind of chill and I will bring you guys back in a moment once the rain is fully gone, okay? See you in a little bit. Well, the rain is finally gone and better days are here with brighter sunshine and now we can take a look at this beautiful house in all its glory. It's so actually beautiful here that I cannot remember what it looked like before this was here and this has just completely changed the entire area. The vibe is so classy and beautiful. I absolutely love how this came out even though it was just such a simple build. I feel like it just goes to show that sometimes the simple things can also be so, so beautiful. I mean, we will never eat this many carrots or use all this backpack space probably, but it's here if we need it. And we have a beautiful little area here where I have also stolen some books. Sorry, I got bored while I was waiting for the sunshine to come out, you know? But with our little tour done, I think that's going to be it for today. I don't want to do too much and get another project started because I would only really record for another hour anyways. So it'll be a little bit shorter today, but I had so much fun with this one today and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you really, really like how the house came out and I'm looking forward to making some more long plays in this world. Well, that's it. Have a good one. Bye.